Saseni Kofiti Pia mimi ni Kofiti This is Ernest Masharia As usual I'm good And for The rest of you I know you are good And you are okay So for today uh, Let's start where we stopped last time That is in Ruin governance And uh, Please take your book and a pen Let's proceed from where we stopped last time And last time I told you to write a sub topic or a heading Statutory corporations Statutory corporations And that's where we shall start And we shall start by writing something small there And let's write The difference between a statutory corporation Into bracket para stato And a company registered under the Companies Act is the as is that a statutory corporation is created directly by an act of parliament. The Companies Act does not create any corporations at all. It only lays down a procedure by which any two or more persons who desire can themselves create a corporation by complying with the rules for registration which the act prescribes types of registered companies subheading types of registered companies we write before registering a company the promoters must make up their minds as to which of the various types of registered companies they wish to form so razima wakai chini wafikirie wajue ni type gani ya kampuni wanataka kutengeneza so number one, they must choose between a limited and unlimited company two if they decide upon a limited company they must make up their minds whether it is to be limited by shares or guarantee number three they have to choose between a private company and a public company we write something small section 30 of the companies act defines a private company as on which by its articles one or roman one or a the street the right to transfer shares so where's the transfer shares that's a private company two limits the number of its members to 50 so i was the teacher 50 members three prohibits the invitation of members of the public to subscribe for any shares or the ventures of the company so public always kuja kununua shares that's a private owned company a company which does not fall under the definition is prescribed as a public company. So, a public company, therefore, must be at least seven subscribers or seven members signing the memorandum of association. We continue writing. When a partnership or other forms of unincorporated associations are incorporated, it becomes a registered company which may be public or private. The registered company is the most advanced form of business association in use today. This is because it enjoys certain advantages not available to partnership and sole proprietorship. Hence, the balance is always tied towards the company. On incorporation, the association becomes a body corporate. It has a legal personality of its own. So, 
some topic advantages of registered companies advantages of registered companies wakona advantages gani one limited liability limited liability so write something small to express <coughs> members are not liable to lose to lose private assets if the company is insolvent so kampuni kama inaanguka ama inashindwa kufanya biashara members are not liable to lose private assets so mtu atachukua kitu yake two perpetual succession since a registered company is created by law its life rise in the intendment of the law it has the capacity to exist in perpetuity perpetuity means eternity ama continuously this is advantageous where the company's business is prosperous it also encourages investment on a long term basis so you are certain company in the area vizuri so you una invest to very capacity to contract and own property a registered company has legal capacity to own property and can enter into into contractual relationships set out in the object clause the company therefore has capacity to invest to, en to enhance profitability so let's assume it's abc limited company so inafanya biashara na hiyo jina yake all right contracts inasign na jina yake etc number 4 sue or be sued inaweza stakiwa ama inaweza staki kama hiyo nimesema abc company inaweza staki na hiyo jina ama istakiwe na hiyo jina but not its members no 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 it's the company itself being sued right something small a registered company has capacity to enforce its rights by court action and may be sued on its obligations members are not bound to sue on behalf of the company and cannot generally be sued for the wrongs of the company so kama ilifanya contract alafu haiku malizia hiyo contract then the company itself is the one to be sued five wide capital base compared to other forms of business associations the registered companies has the widest cap capital base by reason of the wide spectrum of membership six tra transferability of shares the shares or other interests of any member of the company shall be movable property transferable in manner provided by the articles so shares in public and private companies are transferable all right in public companies they are freely transferable kuna kurekisha kuna kurekisha number 7 specialized stroke qualified management companies are managed by directors elected by members in general meeting under section 177 of the companies act every private company must have at least one director or a public company must have at least two all right shareholders have the opportunity to elect qualified persons as directors so directors wana chagu yangu wana shareholders eight borrowing by floating charge registered companies are free to utilize the facility of floating charge to borrow this is the use of floating assets as a security the charge is equitable and remains dormant until crystallization a floating charge has several advantages roman one advantages of floating charge roman one or a 
it enables a company with no fixed assets to borrow. B, it enhances the borrowing capacity of a company with fixed assets. C, it does not interfere with the ordinary business of the company. So small subtopic, disadvantages of registered companies. Disadvantages of registered companies. One, formalities. It requires a lot of formalities, documentation, yeah, registrations, commissions, all right? Two, publicity, e.g. Companies' documents are open to public scrutiny. All right? Three, expenses. They have a lot of expenses, by the way, to form, maintain, and also winding up if you are closing the company. Doctrine of ultra virus. Doctrine of ultra virus. The, cap, the capacity of a company is restricted to transact set forth in the objects and those that are reasonably incidental there. Five, operation tax. The tax payable by companies is relatively high. This reduces the accounts of profits available to members as dividends. Six, participation in management. Members other than directors are actively involved in day-to-day -day affairs of the company. Subtopic, another important part, partnership. What's a partnership? At a section three bracket one of the partnership act, Defines partnership is the relation which subsists between persons carrying on a business in common with a view of profit. Subtopic elements of the definition. Elements of the definition. One, a partnership is, a so, is an association of persons. Two, there must be a business. Razma kukwe na biashara inaanzishwa. Three, the business must be carried on in common. Eh? Si mutu anasema anafungua biashara ya mayai mwingine anafungua biashara ya kuku. Kama ni ya mayai ni ya mayai. Another subtopic, types of partnership. Types of partnership. Under Kenyan law, there are two types of partnership, namely general to limited. There are two, which, which is general and limited. Subtopic or heading, characteristics of partnership. What are the characteristics of partnership? One, membership. It consists of two to 20 members. I was a teacher. 20, I was a kungua, ukue moja, tuwe ni partnership, ukakua partnership waje. 2. Personality. It is an incorporated association. An incorporated association. Si razima iregestiwe. Yes. Tunaweza kaa chini sisi wawiri, ama watatu, ama kumi, to agree, and, the right, and then we continue with our business. 3. At most good faith. At most good faith. Tunakubaliana, tuna, tunaaminiana. Four, agency. Each partner is agent of every other at the farm. So this is what my agents. Five, sue or be sued. It can sue or be sued in its registered name. Kama iko registered, which is not necessarily be registered, Six, profit motivated. A partnership is a profit motivated enterprise. Alright? Liability. A partner's liability 
for debt and other obligations of the firm is generally unlimited. It's generally unlimited. Eight, death, bankrupt, or insanity. Mtu amekuwa wazimu, mtu amekufa, ama ameishiwa na pesa. We lead to dissolution. So, kama moja ama wawili wamekosa pesa, wamekufa, ya, wamekua mwenda wazimu, inaeza fungwa. Commission of partnership. Subtopic, commission of partnership. Partnership can be formed in this ways. One or a oral or by word of mouth. Tuna ketu chini, tuna sikizana, tuna ongea, tuna kubaliana, and that's it. B, written with or without seal. Seal as my two and a seals. Tunaeza adika, just sign, and it's okay. Three, implication from conduct of the parties. Implication from conduct of the parties. However, the partners may on their own accord reduce the basis of their relationship in a formal document detailed, detailing the terms and the conditions of the association. The document is the partnership deed or agreement of articles of partnership. It is not a legal requirement. See, Razimba, it were registered. That's what I said earlier. Contents of the partnership deed. Contents of the partnership deed. One, nature of business. Nataku anzisha biyashara gani, aina gani. Two, contribution of partners. Capital enye tutatoa. Ya, naeza toa 30%, we 40%. Ngine 10%, etc. 3. Profit sharing ratio. Ya. Yeah. Hapo na dhani inaringana na menye utatua capital. 4. Rules for determining interest on capital. 5. Method of calculating goodwill. 6. Power of partners. 7. Accounts and audit. 8. Expansion of partners. Yeah, kama atusikizani tutakutoa aji. How should you be eliminated? Kama wewe atusikizani kwa hiyo partnership. Nine, arbitration. Yes, arbitration. Then, subtopic. Rules stroke principles are breakable in the absence of a partnership deed. Rules stroke principles are breakable in the absence of a partnership deed. deed. Number kuna partnership deed. The rules are breakable are contained in section 28, 28 and 29 of the Partnership Act. Number one. Profit and loss are shared equally. Profit and loss are shared equally. Two, if a partner incurs liability while discharging the firm's obligations, he is entitled to indemnity. He is entitled to indemnity. So then, yeah? Kama ata inka ine pesa yote, ata lipu watu. Three, if a partner leads, no, sorry, rents money to the firm, he is entitled to interest on the principal at the rate of 6% per annum. Kama ni meko pesha partners, ni nafawa ni rudishia with a, an interest of 6% per annum. Four, a partnership can only change its business with consent of all partners. Six, five, a person can only be admitted as partner with consent of all existing partners. See, mimi peke yangu ni sikizane na mkuturani hapo ni murete and then akue partner apana. We have to sit down and agree 
kama tutamukaribisha and then it's okay kama sisi wote tutakubaliana but if either of us is agrees then it's over six a partner is not entitled to interest on capital before the ascertainment of profit all right lazima kwanza kuangaliwe kama kuna profit Seven, every partner is entitled to take part in the management of the firm's business. Eight, a partner is not entitled to remuneration for taking part in the management of the firm's business. So where's the report? Tunaitisha sarai ya nini? Nine, the books of account of the firm must be accessible to all parties. Kujua venya business in Iran? So razima mimi nikiitisha kitabu wewe ukiitisha tunajua how the company is moving forward or partnership is moving forward then under section 29 of the act a partner can only be expelled from the firm if the power to do so is expressly vested to another partner so utanitoa aje na tulikaa chini tukasikizana. Yeah. So kunitoa lazima tuget chini tena tusikizane ama nikuwe niko na powers za kukutoa mimi. Yeah. Tulisikizana. If anything happens so tuko 10, 15, 20. If anything happens mimi niko na nguvu ya kutoa either of the partners. So awezi kunitoa tu hivyo and rest tumalize hiyo partnership. Advantages of partnership subtopic Advantages of partnership one specialization and division of powers specialization and division of powers two sharing of management ya yeah, kila mtu ni director kila mtu ni waka kila mtu ya yeah, all those types of things three white capital base four is to form you are taking kuenda ku register nini haina a lot of expenses that this flexibility we can sit down eh agree to change it in a partnership to get us to badilish a biashara yeah haina mambo mingi it's flexible six sharing of losses yeah kama in a make losses Amongst all of us we shall share maybe with the rate of profit sharing or venya tutasikizana disadvantages of partnership disadvantages of partnership one liability of partners for debt and obligation of the firm is unlimited yeah so kampuni kama iko na madebt ni shauri yake si mimi mimi nikiiko pesa itanilipa haya sharing of profit reduces the amount available to individual partners Three, a single partner's mistake affects all partners yeah four disagreements between partners open the decision making five tends to rely on a single partner's effort to manage six death bankruptcy or insanity of a partner may lead to dissolution may lead to dissolution those are some of the disadvantages so another subtopic comparison between companies and partnership comparison between companies and partnership so we shall have three columns column 1 column 2 column 1 utaandika kitu column 2 companies column 3 partnership so hiyo column yenye utaandika kitu we shall start by membership number 1 membership in companies private companies is a bit a two is a bit a square less than two public company must have a minimum of seven persons 
Partnership 2 to 20 elezi pitisha hapo. Legal persons. A company is a corporation. It is a body corporate. But partnership is an incorporated corporate. Liability. Number three, liability. In companies, liability of members is limited by share or guarantee. In partnership, liability is generally unlimited. Number four, existence. In companies, have perpetual succession, but in partnership, death, bankruptcy, or insanity of a partner may lead to dissolution. So, in a as a pungwa, a kidney in a company a vezi pungwa, as a babu ya mutu a meku farmanini. Ownership of property, have capacity to own property. That is company. In partnership, property is jointly held by all partners. Six, management. By directors erected by members. Companies are managed by directors erected by members, but in partnership by the partners themselves. So no one has near business. Commodities. That is number seven. Companies are subject to the provision of the Companies Act, but partnership are not subject to any strict legal formalities. Agency, that is number eight. In companies, directors are agents when they contract on behalf of the company. Partnership, each partner is an agent of every other at the firm. Nine, auditors. In companies, companies must have auditors. In partnership, are not obligated to have auditors. Meetings in companies must hold AGM, that is annual general meeting every year. In partnership, I am not obligated to hold any meetings. All right, those are some of the comparisons and the differences between companies and partnership. Subtopic illegal partnership. Illegal partnership. One, is a partnership that is formed for an illegal purpose. Two, a professional firm with unqualified partners. Three, a partnership with more than 20 persons. Even illegal partnership. Yeah, that's an illegal partnership. In partnership, parties may be classified as real and quasi, real and quasi. What is quasi spelling? Q U A S I, quasi. Two, minor and major. Three, active and dormant stroke sleeping partners. Four, limited and general partnership. Yeah? Subtopic. Rules for determining the existence of a partnership. Rules of determining the existence of a partnership. We write, under section 4 of the Partnership Act, the following rules are applicable in determining whether a partnership exists. 1. Under section 4, bracket A of the Act, joint tenancy, comma, tenancy in common property, or part ownership does not of itself constitute a partnership in respect of the property owned or held. 2. Under section 4, bracket 2 of the Act, the sharing of gross returns of business not of itself constitutes the person's partners in the business. 3. Under section 4C, bracket C, sorry, of the Act, the receipt by a person of a, of a share of a profit of a business evidence that he is a partner in the business. At a section 4, bracket A, there are several circumstances where persons who are not partners receive 
an amount contingent upon the profit of the business, e.g. 1. Payment of the remuneration to servants or agent where the amount varies with the level of profit. 2. Payment of a liquidated debt where the amount payable varies with the profit of the business. 3. Payment for goodwill where the amount is, in, is contingent upon the firm's profit. 4. Payment of annuity to a widow or child of a deceased partner where the amount varies with the level of profit. Relationship between partners and third parties. Relationship between partners and third party. And you have a small subtopic. Liability of a partner. Liability of a partner. At the section 7 of the Partnership Act, every partner is an agent of each other at the firm. The liability of a partner's for death of the firm is governed by the law of agency. A partner exercises both real and ostensible authority and the firm is generally liable for death arising in the conduct of a partner. However, for the firm or other partners to be held liable for the act of a partner, it must be evident that 1. The partner was acting in the business of the firm. 2. He was acting in the usual way. 3. He was acting in this capacity as partner. In other circumstances, a partner would be held personally liable, e.g., if he is prohibited from acting on behalf of the firm. 2. He signs a document without express authority. A third party who has contracted with partnership may sue the partner there to it or all the partners. If a single partner is sued and his asset cannot make good the firm liability, the other partners cannot be sued. Suing the partner enables the plaintiff to execute judgment against all the partners since they are jointly liable. Liability of a retiring partner. Liability of a retiring partner. Unless otherwise agreed, a retiring partner is only liable for debts and other liabilities upon the date of retirement. Two, liability of an incoming partner. Unless otherwise agreed, such a party is only liable for debts and other liabilities arising from the date he become a partner. Liability of a minor partner. Under Section 12 of the Partnership Act, a minor partner is not personally liable for debts and other liabilities of the firm. However, his share in the property is liable. Liability of estopel. Estopel. E S T O W P E L. A person who is not a partner may be held liable as a partner by the equitable doctrine of estopel. Under Section 18 of the Act, if a person who is not a partner knowingly permits himself to be held out a part partner or represents himself as a partner, with the firm's knowledge and that parties rely upon the representation, he is stopped from denying the apparent partnership and he is liable. The relationship between partners themselves. Yes. The relationship between partners themselves. Each partner is entitled to utmost fairness from, from all partners. The principle of utmost good faith is partner, in partnership is expressed, express, is expressed the following ways. 1. Partners with a personal interest in a transaction entered into by the firm is bound to disclose the same. 